I've got Stevie Nicks on because it's a good feeling day. I overlooked it, it's gonna be in the video, so I've just covered it up. It's like IKEA, man! Now then, refer! <laughs> okay, serious. It's new tag day! So you may have seen my other video from the ALF trade show. I fell in love with the Neptunian Cube. I had several conversations with my other half about potentially running a third tank in the house. These were very difficult conversations. That was then. And today is the day the tank will be delivered. They only just arrived in the UK a couple of weeks back and today is the day when I'll be receiving my pallet of goods. Whilst I was at the trade show, I met some wonderful people from some amazing brands and some of those products are gonna feature on this new tank series. I'm just waiting for a call from ALF just to confirm when the tank's gonna arrive. So I'm gonna get the room sorted and prepared because the tank will be going there and um, We've got lots of work to do today. I'm just waiting for the call to let me know that they're on their way and then I'm going to have to see if I can get an extra pair of hands to get me in because I've not planned that far ahead. We've got another call now, so let's get this one. Hi Lauren. Yes. Thanks so much for the update. Appreciate it. Goodbye. Bye. ETA, five minutes. It's minus five here, so I best get my jacket on. I'm going to go outside and welcome the new tank. I'm really lucky because the neighbours' cars are all gone, so this is an 18 tonner coming, not a DPD van, <laughs> it's a big one. Um, problem is I don't have anyone to help me with it, so I'll just ring my dad, see if he's available. <laughs> Let's do this. He rings me all the time. This is the Vodafone voice now, Come on, man. Any minute now. Kamishi. Have you seen the quote on the uh, ALF fan? It's been said people who keep fish live longer. I hope you're right. <laughs> it's here now, I'll just help, help him with it. It's alright, I'll get it sorted and then I'll just, uh, just ring you back in a bit. Whoa, whoa, I can't get there in just a quick second. It's alright, Batman. I'll ring you back. Right. See you later. Safe journey, man. Thank you. See you later, buddy. So I've successfully taken all the good stuff from the delivery driver that's now in the garden. I'm so excited to have a look at this tank up close and I'm really pleased to be sharing this with you. So now I've just got to wait for my dad to get here to give me a hand with the tank. I'm going to have to clear this area up here, which, which I've just kind of had most of the stuff that's going to be going on the new tank there. So we're going to clear all this out, roll the rug up and start building the new tank. Stick around. Let's do it. Okay, so we have cleared the area. It's time to start assembling the Neptunian cube. Box is here. I'm going to uh, get everything out, build it, get the cabinet set up there. Then I have a bit of a better idea of sort of what space I've got to play with. I have measured up, of course, but um, it's different when you see it in real life. Look, it's here. Well done. Hi. Right. All the gear. All the gear. No idea. All the gear. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to the steps, Need to get the cabinet up because you need to help me get it on the cabinet. Good job. Fear not, we've got the tank in just about, and I uh, had to dress it up for a photo. Dad, you're off, yeah? Yeah, hi. See you later, thanks for helping. Is your back all right? Well. Look at your face. <laughs> Legend, thanks. See you later. So I'm really conscious about the Nano. This video is gonna be a massive video for me. It's the start of something special, and the Nano's terrible. I overlooked it, it's gonna be in the video, so I've just covered it up. <laughs> The tank is really, really, really easy to put together. Easier than some of the other ones I've put together. <laughs> so there's some rails that just kind of run around the tank and then you just literally clip them in. It's like a bit of a quick fasten for it. Um, pretty clever. I've got Stevie Nicks on because it's a good feeling day. But yeah, no, it's really, really easy to put together. Um, really impressed so far. Oh, it's like Ikea. It's like Ikea, man! We're making progress. Can't see the ugly tank. <laughs> small wins. Small wins today. <laughs> we're in, in the box. We've got the sump, plumbing, and I don't know what else. I'm not too sure what else is in there, so uh, I'm gonna try to get the sump out on my own. 
Let's see how that goes. I've got the sump out. Yeah. So in the sump, this is really cool. Comes with socks. You can put the socks there, three of them. So there's your uh, intake into your media chamber. Huge gym here. And then it's got your uh, dosing lines there, your ATO. That's I think that's the yeah, that's the ATO chamber. Some extra tubes down there, adjustable control. I don't know if you can see on this camera. Considering the price of the tank, this is insane. Well look how look how tidy everything is. Right, let's get this in the uh, cabinet. It's been going on that long, the kids are back from school. Guys, it's new tank day! <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. yeah. So I've just done the sump, uh, cabinet's up, needs to do the pipe work. I'm just taking my time because I'm trying to get to, to grips with everything. <laughs> what? I said, oh my God. And you wanted a third tank. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna leave me? <laughs> Might do after this, I'm not sure. <laughs> We're just finishing the doors, getting these bang on. Roberta doesn't know this, but she's lifting it on with me. But I find building in a cabinet, the doors to be the worst thing, because with the Red Sea, I got this off somebody else, and I can't get the doors right, because I didn't set it up, and it's just out, it's just out. I want to get this right. It's really important to get these like this now, otherwise it'll just bother you forever. Right, next thing is to load the tank on. This is really well wrapped, man. They forgot to build the weir box. So there must have been a problem at the manufacturers because there's no weir box. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Look how small that is. The world's thinnest weir box. So it's all threaded in. All the pipe works threaded in. And what I really like about it is the, obviously you've got the overflow, you've got the returns on each side. So obviously we know how important flow is for the system. You've got that coverage on each side for the returns alone, which is great because my current one is uh, a central return. So I'm excited to try that. Really well packaged as well. And same with the sump as well, it comes exactly as that. So, hi girls. So I'm take a minute, just going through some of the gear and um, pizza. Oh, thank you. So we're gonna do a big lift now. Everything's done, we just need to get the tank on the stand. You realize what you've just done? Roberta's just done it. She's lifted the glass on. I didn't film it though, so no one will believe it. I know. No, we didn't film it because we were really, really scared. And um, she just, we just, I just said just to try and lift it off the pallet. She got it halfway up and I just said, let's just get it on. So well done. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to uh, go knock on the neighbors. <laughs> well done. So we've got the glass on, the cabinet is built, the doors are flush, the sump is in, all about the plumbing, the sump management. You seem quite happy considering you've got another fish tank. I know. I'm just happy I got it on. So we are just going to get the returns on now. So these are multi-directional as well, which is great. There you go. So we are now just installing some LEDs into the sump. So I anticipate a few people might want to know how we did this. So I've got some rails here and diffusers. And I'm literally just in the process now of installing them. So I've stuck the rails on. Um, I don't know if you can see this, it's just an overfold there. So it's the same color as the cabinet. So I've installed the rails. I'm now putting the LEDs in. We're gonna wrap that round and then put the diffusers on. And hopefully it will come out looking exactly as I expect it to. This is how I'm doing it. Just in case anyone asks. No one might ask, but I'm doing this video just in case because once it's done, it's done. We're gonna make this a really cool, tidy control unit. Gonna have the sensor doses running there, and then I'm unsure how to uh, position things down here. But we're taking our time. We're not gonna rush this. This is gonna look amazing. But we have finally got the tank set up. I've not actually plumbed everything in. I've been messing around with all the LEDs and the cable management. The pipe work is actually threaded in, and it's threaded into the base. So when you're setting it up, you don't actually need to worry about putting any pipes in the. Um, in the weir box like you do on some other tanks. You literally just connect your sump plumbing up. So we've got this here, which Neptunian says is your electrical box, but I'm gonna use this as a controller box. So I've just put a couple of controls in there at the minute. Aquavitro Sentia Dosa pumps up there, which are gonna be running 
the Seachem Fusion 1 and 2, and I'm also gonna be dosing bacteria, but that'll be for another video. Still gotta do a little bit of tidying up with the cables, but for the most part, everything is really tidy. The sump itself, you've got the ATO here, looks about 15 or 20. So you've got your overflow, which comes in here, and then that goes into the three filter socks, which come with the tank. Like I said, you get the three socks with it. This chamber here, which I'm gonna be using as a refugium, and I'm gonna be running the eco mud on there. We've also got the Sichi scuba, which I'll be doing another video on because this is awesome. Under these socks here, we're gonna have our biomedia. Then, We've got the skimmer chamber, which is what I'm gonna be putting the skimmer in. I'm gonna be running the great white skimmer from Deliver. That's gonna go into that chamber. And lastly, you've got your return chamber in here. And what I really like is that they've even included your dosing line holders, so it's pretty cool. For a tank at the price point, you get a lot of gear. And what's really cool is that these returns on each side will create flow in the tank anyway, so you wouldn't need to necessarily worry too much about power heads when you first get going. So like I said, I've been taking my time doing the install, making sure the cables are all wired in properly. A little tip for everybody who might not know this, but get some petroleum jelly, pop it on a bit of tissue. You wanna put this on your doors. So you're gonna put this on these here, just prevents any rusting. Anything that you can do to prevent that, you should. So I would recommend doing that. So like I've shown you in the video, the install was really simple. You just connect the panels to the aluminium frame and just tighten that up with an Allen key. Still got to remove all these stickers here. So you, it comes really well protected. Really excited to get this wet and um, start another journey. So there you have it, there's my little vlog video of my unboxing of the new aquarium. I hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you for sticking around this long. I'm off to bed now because I'm absolutely shattered. It's been a long, long day and we've got lots to do. For those eagle-eyed viewers, yes, I have already mounted a floating shelf on there. That'll be part of the video that I feature, which is aquascaping. And that will be part of a six-week series of videos, which is gonna be the six weeks of proper reefing. And we are basically gonna keep things really simple. I do appreciate that there was some high-tech equipment under the sump, but that's just for me to help me run these three systems. The six week series of videos is gonna be basics. We're gonna cover everything that I do to run my tank in a very simple way. So do please subscribe if you've not already. Thanks for watching. As always, there's plenty more seeing the fish.